Okay, starting today's class. Uh, last day we have covered uh, capturing piece and uh, getting out of check. Today probably there is a chapter called fork. Let's start our class. I am sharing my screen. Everyone be patient. If you have any doubt. If you have any doubt, then ask me after the class. Uddha, have you anything to say? Why you raised your hand? Yes, I want to capturing two pieces. Capturing pieces are here. Ota, okay, let's try it out. I mean, we made it. Do you think I'm out of words? What is the question number? Uh, four. Okay. It is question number four. Just, just a minute. I am sharing my screen. Are you getting my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here is problem number four. Here is problem number four. The problem is white can win material. White can win material. Next move, what should white play? So we have to find out the undefended piece. So this is the undefended piece. So uh, R cross E6 is the answer. Buddha got the point. Buddha. R cross E6 is the answer. Rook takes Rook takes Rook. This Rook is undefended, so R cross E6 is the answer. Anyone ha has any doubt? Yes, Arush, what is your doubt? Arush, have you any doubt? Sir, capturing piece the production. Capturing piece, we have we have told capturing piece last day. 
so today mm. we will tell you uh, next chapter only the next okay. chapter okay thanks okay so starting today's class We have already covered getting out of check, so today we start from fourth, I think. So today we have a new chapter, Fox, chapter number 4. So Fox are an essential part of chess tactics. A Fox is a move that, use, that uses one piece to attack two or more enemy pieces at the same time. The intention is to try to achieve a material advantage since the opponent can only counter one of the two or more threats. This tactical motive is fun and also very powerful. Okay. So the first problem is it is white's turn to move. Can you find the fork for white that wins large material? So you have to find out the fork which wins a large material. So from this, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute no one is asking him answer. No one, no one is asked to give answer. You only give answer when you are asked to do so. I am revoking the right to turn on your microphone. So, Here, look at this square and look at this knight. If it jumps here, then it, the king will fall on check and it simultaneously attack the queen. So, Knight to e5 plus is the answer. Because when your key is under check, you can't move any, any other pieces. You have to move your king to safety. So, your king can uh, come here or it can go here or it can go here, or it can go here, or it can go here. So among these squares, you have to move your king. And the next turn, the knight will capture this queen. So the idea is to attack two major pieces at the same time. This square is undefended. This is an open square. If we put our knight here, 
it will attack this king the king will fall in check it will attack the queen also so this move allows us to simultaneously attack the king and the queen so this is a fault the picture of a fork is like this so there are two heads this is a tuning fork actually uh, this is a sound this is a uh, this is a instrument which used to tuning musical instruments this is called tuning fork and the fork you use for eating that that is also like this you use this fork to eat fruits so here you will find that the attack pattern of attack is like two way so it is a fork it is simultaneously attack the king and the queen and when you uh, are going to escape the king or place it, place your king in a safe square on a safe square rather the queen will be gone so this is a fork and the answer is in e by j so moving to the next problem now we are not going through all the problems we are randomly picking up problems and you you have the task to find out the solution of every problem now here uh the move is very interesting because this particular square is open if you place your queen here then along the diagonal it threats the king and along this diagonal it is attacking the rook so this is also a fork so you are placing the queen here it is attacking the king along this diagonal and it is also attacking the rook along this diagonal so this is also a fork so it is a fork and the answer is queen d5 check this is the answer of this problem moving to the next problem now this is uh, problem number 8 can you find that uh, let us choose red in here we have also uh, okay now here if we place our king here queen here so it is checking the king and it is also attacking the undefended knight this knight is undefended unprotected and if we place our queen here it in it is at attacking the king along seventh rank and also it is attacking the knight which is on b7 so it is also a fork so the move is queen f7 check on that case your king must move to h8 it is a force move so k h8 
and q cross b7 so this knight will be gone so this is also a power so the answer is q f7 plus you need not write the other moves which i have written and only square left is uh, h7 and uh, sorry h8 your king must move to h8 and you will grab the knight on b7 so this is the answer of this problem okay let us try a harder one okay this is problem number 15 black to move can play a fork where is it so black to move it has a fork where it is so the black bishop is uh, can move to d3 square if we put the bishop here it will attack the king as well as the knight is undefended undefended it will also attack the knight so bishop to d3 check is the answer when your king moves it will take the undefended knight so the answer of this problem is bishop to d3 check so it is attacking the knight is also checking the king so it is uh, white will definitely lose the knight okay moving to the next problem problem number 80 white to move has a winning fork in two moves where is it okay in two move we have a fork where it is let us find out white to move has a winning fork in two moves okay let's try it yes now it is a very very interesting problem now if we place our king here uh, our queen here it will give the white king a check now when we are giving check to this king you can't block it with your queen because on that case your queen will be gone so the forced move here is to bring your king on h7 here and if you put your king here then the knight will jump to g5 and that will definitely a for from king and queen so what i am trying to say that this is not a direct fork but you have to create this one you have to play queen to b8 check then there is a force move queen to uh, king to h7 so the answer should be like this this is i am writing the answer here 
all the recording will be available if you need not write anything you just uh, keep on watching the class so number one move number one queen to b8 check you can't block it with your king uh, with your queen at e8 because on that case it will be queen will be gone so you should play a forced move like king to h7 we know that uh, when our king is on check we have three options we can avoid it we can block it or we can capture the attacking piece so uh, there is no way to capture the white queen there is a way to block the check by placing the queen on e8 but on that case we will go we will going to lose our major material the queen so we can't do this so we have only one way to save our king that is avoid we can place our king to a safer square h7 but in the next move if we if we play knight to g5 check that will definitely create a fork and black will lose its queen sorry it's not f5 it's g5 it's g5 then it is a fork so the answer of this this particular problem answer of this particular problem is a uh, queen to b8 check king h7 then knight to g5 is a fault Now this problem is also very interesting. If you play the rook here and give a check, then where the king should move? The king can move to here or here. On that case, if you place your rook back to here and give another check, then this knight will be gone. So this is another example of two step fork. The first step is R H3 check. The king may go to G8, K G8 or K G7. These two squares are open. Then on the next move, you should play R G three check, and the knight will be gone. So this is a two-step fork, like the previous one. That was with the queen. This one with the rook. So. let us cover another problem a harder one
Okay, this is problem number 20. White can fork black root in two moves. Okay. What is that mean? So, the uh, black king is on h8. Immediately, what we can do, we can give a check with the black bishop, that is bishop 2. The first move should be bishop 2, d3. Sorry, bishop d4. Bishop d4 check is the first one. Now, as this bishop is covering the entire diagonal, these two squares are left for the king. If the king moves to h7, if it is k h7, then bishop 2 d3 is a fork and it will lose the rook. Or after bd4 check, if the king moves to g8, if it is kg8, then bishop 2, a2 attacks the king as well as rook and it is also a fork. The only two squares left is king to h7 or king to g8. If the move a king moves to h7, then bishop to d3 is a check and it loses uh, uh, lose its uh, rook. And if the king moves to uh, g8, then bishop a2 check lose the rook. So this is the solution of this problem. So moving forward, okay, this is the end of this chapter. This is the end of this chapter. Now the next chapter is making pin. Let's try to solve this one also. This is making pin. Okay, uh, I am uh, giving Allah, uh, Janobi, yes, what is your problem? Okay, I am giving right to unmute yourself. Just a minute. Okay, now you can turn on your microphone. Yeah, nobody please tell me what is your problem. Sir, fork stable chhe twenty ta to B G eight ta hobe na. Bishop. B G eight. KG8 how many can you? Karan, Bishop is a check. Bishop is a check. Right, right, right. right. Correct. KG8 how many? Okay. Yes, I have made the mistake. So, uh, I am again uh, writing the problem, writing the solution. KG8 is not a uh, legal move. So, the first move is Bishop to D3, Bishop to D4, check. So this square is not um, uh, this square is not available. Only available square is this one. So the, it is a forced move, king to h7, then bishop to d3 check will lose the rook. Correctly say, Janavi, thank you.
because this G7, uh, G8 square is already controlled by this bishop on uh, C4. So, it is not a, a valid move, king to G8. This is the only solution. Yes, Ahun, tell me. Sir, King to B, I mean, White Bishop, that you did D3, that you did not have a check made. Then, G7 open. Then, G7 open. Oh, yeah. Then, G7 open. Huh? KGA to move. हाँ के जी टू तो था वही मारा तो वो जी एट तो था कवर थक चुना है सर इन दो चले फोर्थ कौन सी डाले नाइट टा यस फोर्थ इस डी फोर्थ इस डी टारगेट सो इट इस डी फोर्थ डी रूट रूट कोई भी गॉन ओके कैन वी कैन वी प्रोसीड टू टू डी नेक्स्ट चैप्टर Yes, sir. Many of you have, uh, have uh, pending uh, homeworks or assignments. So, can we move to the next chapter or we'll go slow? What is your opinion? What the majority says? Can we go Okay, so uh, we need some more time. Actually, this batch is hybrid strength. There are strengthy players, uh, also there are weak players. So, uh, going too, too fast uh, will be problematic. So, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, a good decision to keep our speed at moderate level. As we have already covered two chapters last week, if we also cover two chapters this week, it may be problematic uh, to some students who have uh, lesser grip over the game. So, uh, it is uh, justified that we keep our speed at the moderate rate. What my point? Huh? Check my test sign of hash. Yes, Mukda, tell what is your problem? Tell me. Hash, hash. Now I am, I am, rather I am writing some signs over here. This is a blank sheet. I am writing some sign. Uh, you must know this sign. Okay. So, just watch. No, 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 no need to copy. Everything will be available uh, in the form of recording. You may go many, many times if you uh, want to uh, view this recording class. So, this plus sign is for check. This plus is for double check. This hash is for check print. This sign is for brilliant move. This sign is for good move.
this sign is for interesting you be as smooth this one is bad mood this one is blunder these are all you have to remember who will give you these uh, symbols when you are play, playing online if you analyze your game then the engine will show you these marks when uh, it is a brilliant move when it is a good move when it is a blunder on there you will give uh, you will get these uh, things and in the chess book you will also get these things we have to know this if you are making a blunder the, then the engine must give this double uh, uh, double question mark after you move any doubt have you any doubt Yes, tell me. Uh, what is to be a move? If the engine has any doubt regarding your move, then it is a dubious move. Because uh, if you are playing a move that is not clear to the engine also, then it can give you that mark, which is a doubtful move for the engine also. Clear? Okay, sir. Is it on? Who is it? Sir, me. Who are you? Shapni. Shapni. So, this is all about today's class because we are not going to uh, solve the next, uh, next uh, uh, chapter. I am giving you some time. I am giving, giving you five minutes. Uh, please go through the chapter and find uh, anything. If you have any doubt or any difficulties, then ask me. I will solve the problem. I am giving you 10 minutes from now, go through the book, go through the chapter 4, go through all the problems visually, just uh, look on the problems and if you are finding any difficulties, then please tell me, I will uh, uh, give you a hint or try to solve the problem. Go through the book.
Page number ছিল Sanvi, which one? Problem number, tell me the problem number. Six. Huh? Six. Six? Yes. Chai, chai. Sam, sorry, Shani, kye likha chhe, bujhte baat chhe na. Ki? Sorry, Shani, kye likha chhe, bujhte baat chhe na. Tu solu Shani, kye dhekh chho ka no? সলুশন ইজ কিউ বি ফাইভ মেট queen to b5 if you place the queen to a1 if you place queen to a1 here yes then the bishop will come here to block the check this is not a mate so the correct answer is yes. queen to b5 this is the mate okay sir Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. 
y esa Yeah, I see salud there. Yes, sir. Okay. Sarnavo, are you there? Yes, sir. Are you going through the book? Yes, sir. Have you solved the problems? Yes. Do you have any doubt? No. Where is your mother? Sir, beside me. Sir, tell me. Tell me, what did you say? Sir, tell me. Sir, tell me. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Now, the chapter which I have already covered right now, are you going to that chapter? Yes, sir. You have been given 10 minutes of time. If you have any doubt, I am going to clarify. Sir, till now I don't have any doubt. Okay. Yes, Shopreen, tell me your doubt. Sir, I have doubt in forks of 16. 16, okay. I am sharing the screen again. Just a minute. Put your hand down. I am asking. I am solving your query. Sharing the screen. Which number you told? Problem number what? Sixteen. Okay. Although just a minute, I am giving the answer. Problem number sixteen. This is problem number 16. How can black fork? Okay, how can black fork? How can black fork? How can black fork? Yes, just wait, just wait. How can black fork? Okay, let's try. Uh, oh, sir, I found it. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, yes. fine. Uh, 
Who is this? Who is this? Who told the answer? I think it is Boy Bob, right? No, sir, me. Shopping. Shopping, yes. Okay. King to F5 is a fall. Because you are attacking two knight at the same time. So the answer is KH5. Yes, Adhrubo, tell me your problem. I cannot understand 17. Yes, you are not understanding 17. Okay. Sir, Arush, can you stop the question? Arush, what are, what are you doing? Arush, what? Sorry, Bossy. Sorry, Bossy. To begin to next the extreme punishment, Pabe, I am going Don't do this. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, the problem is why to move can set up a fork, a forced fork in two moves. Okay. Why to move and a why to force a fork in two moves. What is that? Okay, let's try. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to force a fork. Now, what do we do? What do we do? Yes, yes, yes. Now, look at this. If we Place the queen here. Here. It is giving the king a check. So the only square left is g8. Now if we put here the queen in the next move. It will again give the check to the king and look at this. So this is one, this is two and this is three. So the answer is Queen H3 check. King G8 is forced. Then Queen C8 check. King H7 is forced or yes it is forced because you can't block with the uh, Queen otherwise it will gone. Then Q cross A6. This is the solution. This yes, is sir. one, this is two, and this is two. Okay, sir. Is it clear to you? It is. Uh, is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
is there anything <coughs> which I uh, which I uh, need to explain? Okay, I think we have a time to end the class now. So, your assignment is to uh, do all the problems, is to solve, uh, make a solution of, of all the problems in this chapter. This is your assignment and uh, all of you are asked to do the assignment if there is anything pending. Just complete it. <coughs> now we are going to end this class. 